Hi, this is Sun's phone. My brother and I are playing by beats. Um, so before we show you a full hive, we are going to show you what an empty hive looks like. Uh, there are several different layers and parts to a hive. You have um, visible, you have the telescoping lid. There is more than one type of lid, but this is the most common. It has a metal top and a wooden frame. You have, a, and on this one we have two supers, is what they're called. They're the large boxes where the bees will put their brood and the honey they store for the winter. You have the base, and right in here you have the opening that the bees crawl in and out of. So we're going to open this up. This, this is the lid that holds the, or lets the bees come in and out of the hive. And this is called a queen excluder. It is used to keep to qu the queen from coming into levels any higher than the level you put this at. So these are large frames. They already have a honeycomb pattern on them. And they are built around a wooden frame and they're made of plastic. And usually you can fit about 12 of these into a single box. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little bit less, depending on the size of your box. Now, you can stack these as high as you want. Eventually, uh, this one has two supers. We can put a medium on top with the queen excluder in between. And th those mediums are what you're going to harvest the honey from. So now we're going to up and open up a live hive, and um, this hive is relatively new, so there won't be much honeycomb. But so let's open it up. Let's set it. And if I could please have the thank you. So, right now, we're going to take off the first medium super, the super, and set it down so we can get a look at where most of the bees are, which is by the queen. Oh, okay, like a queen. Oh, man, that's bad. Oh, nice. So if you'll zoom in really close here, this bee here, nope, sorry. Hang it, I'm trying to find her. So this here, is the queen bee. She has a very long abdomen with very small wings. You can see she's, she's crawling about her workers. These bees are a mix between Carnegie bees, Carney. Carney bees, and um, Italians, which are much more aggressive. Carnegies are much more aggressive than Italians, but Italians are or Africanized honeybees are very vicious. They will attack you if you get near their honey. But the queen is the most important bee in the hive. And if you'll wait a second, I'll see if I can find a drone bee. Here's one right here. So you can see a drone bee is much, much larger than the worker bees. They are male bees, and they are the... So, the worker bees, they do pretty much everything. They protect the hive, they find honey, they... they the nurse bees, 
they are, they're the ones who take care of the brood. So the worker bees, they go find the honey. So bees, um, the bees communicate. They don't use uh, voices or different buzzing sounds. What they do is they dance. They'll use different dances to communicate. The most famous is the waggle dance. And what that does is it tells other bees where honey is and where the best flowers are. This is called pollen patty and it feeds the bees until they find their flowers. So there are hundreds of dances and thousands of combinations that bees use, but that's the most common and the most famous. And this concludes the honeybee episode for Xander's Farm.